Hello and welcome to another video from Genius Gecko. My name is Tom and today I will show you how to quickly start working with Big Picture from the get-go in 5 minutes and we will cover both waterfall and agile approaches. The first thing you need to understand is that Big Picture is strictly connected with Jira in terms of data. So whenever you want to build something in Big Picture, this data needs to be stored in Jira. Therefore, we will actually start with creating a Jira project for our data. We will choose the Scrum project because we want to work both with Waterfall and Agile. So I'll just quickly set up a project here, naming it Start working with Big Picture in 5 minutes. All right, let's create a project. It takes a second for the project to be created in Jira, but not that long because it's just an empty project. And now you have two approaches. You can either go here and say, uh, well, in terms of the big picture, I want to create a now box in big picture that will hold my project data. You can choose the type of the box you want to use over here. Uh, I would choose program, especially if you don't have big picture enterprise. This is probably something that you want to go with. But actually, I will go straight to big picture and do it from over there because I highly suspect that many of you will actually be doing that approach. So instead of going the easy way, we will go the more elaborate way. But in the end, we will do the same. So the list here is highly populated for me because this is our demo instance, but for you it might be empty. So all you want to do is you want to go to here and say, starting big picture in five minutes, we will choose the program box, we will choose the end date for the box, and we will create it. Now let's give big picture a moment What's happening in the background is that a new box is being created, a box for holding your project data. Now this box we will have to manually now synchronize with a Jira project we've created earlier. So this is exactly what we will do in the next step. So we are going to box configuration here, scope definition, automatic rules, start working with big picture in five minutes, that's the project, and now we hit save. And now big picture box is synced with Jira. So if we go to the Gantt and start populating that box with data now, and let's say we want to create an epic, and we will just choose epic 1 BP in 5 minutes. There we go. Let's create actually another one, epic 2, epic 2, no need another one. There we go. We created two epics, the screen refreshes itself, our epics are automatically shown over here and I can actually even open those epics to keep them populated with more data. So I can, for example, create stories in those epics. Story 1, let's copy this to make it a lot quicker. Story 2, Story 3, create. There we go. Now let's go to the second epic and create issues in this epic as well. Let's make them stories. Story 4, Story 5, Story 6. All right, so if I refresh this screen, I'm now basically getting two epics, both of those with three different stories inside of them. If I expand the screen a little bit, see the icons, you can see that there are epics, there are stories immediately embedded inside those epics. So all starts looking quite nice, right? So this is their waterfall approach, right? Basically you're all set. Now, if you're working with Agile, you probably want to have sprints under your main box, right? So that's exactly what I'm going to add over here. I'm going to add a sub box for sprint one. I'm going to even add another one for sprint two, just quickly like this. And I'm going to go to sprint one and I'm going to again visit the configuration task and scope definition. In sprint one scope definition, I need to choose the field to synchronize with. For the simplicity, I'm going to pick an epic link and I'm going to say epic one BP in five minutes, hit save. And I'll show you that alternatively, you can also do it from the new program view. Apparently that's the box we are operating in. And for sprint two, you can also do it here, right? So epic link epic 2, 
save, and voila, right? So now your sprint boxes are also linked with Jira in a specific way. So basically I said that for sprint one, show me everything that belongs to Epic one. For sprint two, show me everything that belongs to Epic two. I could do it sprint by sprint, but because we're trying to make it super fast, I didn't create any sprints whatsoever. And now for the agile purposes, you will probably go to the board and look at that. We have our first story in sprint one, we have the other three stories in sprint two, so that's exactly what we wanted to have. And now, of course, from here, you can start working with the data, start creating some dependencies, start assigning, creating teams and assigning these issues to teams, start reassigning those issues between those sprint if you want to, right? So that's the way you start up with big picture. <laughs> I guess it took slightly more than five minutes, but Still, as you can see, it's pretty, pretty darn fast. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about Big Picture and how to set it up, how to work with it, do reach out to us. We offer a first session for free during which we can show you or do the demo of this amazing tool, answer your questions, show you how to configure the things that you're struggling with, or even do the presentation for your higher ups or people that are interested in learning how Big Picture can help you get better project management in your Jira or, or in your Atlassian environment. We think that this is currently the best project management tool in the Atlassian ecosystem on the market, so you can't go wrong with it. All the important contact information you can find in the description of this video, and this is where I'm going to leave you, hear you or see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.